Meet Bicycle! Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Ultimate Easter Egg and Secret Guides here in the Borderlands universe. Today I've got another three Easter Eggs for you guys, one from each Borderlands games and uh, yeah, hopefully you guys don't know about some of them and uh, without further ado, let's get on with the guide. So for our first Easter Egg we are heading to Borderlands 1 and today we're going to be looking at a weapon called the Defender which is a legendary shotgun that can be found within the game. Now if we look at the red text on the Defender it says I can do this all day. Now that is a phrase commonly quoted in games including Duke Nukem, most famously um, in Duke Nukem that is, in the Manhattan Project but it's also been known to be quoted as well in Halo 3. So this is a uh, Duke Nukem slash Halo uh, reference slash Easter egg uh, and uh, yeah that is the red text on the uh, legendary defender and what it means so here's a bit of footage from Duke Nukem just so you guys can see I could do this all day so our next Easter egg is uh, in the area in Borderlands 2 in the dust where uh, you fight Mobley and Ghetto near the church now this is a uh, kind of graveyard area and uh, if you actually search this grave just here on the right hand side in front of the church um, there's quite a lot of them about but you want to get this one on the right hand side just here if you search it uncovered in the pile of dirt will be a volleyball with uh, like a bloody handprint on it uh, which seems a bit weird but this is actually a castaway easter egg and the volleyball is actually meant to be wilson now castaway obviously is that epic legendary film uh, about the guy who crashes onto a desert island and uh, tries to escape and when he doesn't he learns how to uh, survive on his own basically only accompanied by one volleyball that he made himself uh, called Wilson and uh, that is actually a little castaway easter egg right there so here's a bit of footage from the famous part of the uh, film when uh, Wilson floats away Now for our final easter egg we're heading over to Borderlands the pre-sequel for a kind of double kind of easter egg here. So in Concordia if you head towards the lift uh, where you go up to the Merith's office if you uh, head on the outside of it you'll see a little platform down there with a box on it. Now this just looks like a normal loot box but if you get closer to it you'll see there's like kind of skull and crossbones animation and kind of the same stuff that you see on some of Gage's outfits. So uh, yeah, it's a bit mechromancery. So when you open it up, you'll actually see that it gives you the Discord animation, which uh, obviously in Borderlands 2, the Discord is a skill used by Gage, where if you reload, it'll heal you when uh, you reload, but it'll cost you anarchy stacks. And this animation will go on and you'll lose anarchy stacks until you reload again. But if you look even further inside, um, it actually says on the inside, Isaiah's loot hands off. Now, a lot of people may not know this, but this is actually a Make a Wish Foundation um, wish that has been put in where a child called Isaiah, uh, who had a terminal illness, wanted to be immortalized inside the Borderlands, and uh, Gearbox granted them that request so I think that's really nice really so we can call that a gauge Easter egg right there because it does uh, reference gauges discord um, and a bit like a dress sense and all of that but I just think that's really nice to have a, a double hidden meaning uh, at the end of it so there was the uh, make a wish foundation slash gauge Easter egg and uh, yeah that's it anyway guys that is another episode of ultimate Easter eggs and secrets guide number eight we had Duke Nukem Easter Egg from the Defender Shotgun Red Text Meaning in Borderlands 1. Then we had the uh, Castaway Wilson Volleyball Easter Egg in Borderlands 2. And then finally a nice little Easter Egg at the end, a Make-A-Wish Foundation Easter Egg uh, combined with Gage's Discord. So uh, yeah, there you go. Thanks for watching everyone. Really hope you've enjoyed this and I will see you guys in the next one. Meet